And joining us live now to further this conversation in the studio is Peggy Ovat, who is the Executive Director of Finish Strong Foundation for the Vulnerable. Good to have you here. Hello, Amaka. Thank you for having me. And happy Women's Day. I wish you the same. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you just heard uh, Pumzile speak, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that you shared most of the sentiments expressed there. Definitely. But one of the things she said is that we do not have a fairer world yet. Do you agree? Uh, yes, I strongly agree. It is still, in quotes, a man's world, um, despite all of the efforts that are being put in by individuals, by organizations, even by some states, nations. We still have that high disparity, very large disparity between um, in the area of gender balance when it comes to um, leadership, when it comes to opportunities that are put out there, we still have that disparity and that is sad. Mm -hmm. So what are the challenges in your opinion that you see facing us? Let's come home to Nigeria, you know, as stopping women from, you know, shattering the so-called glass ceilings. Oh, well, it still goes down to the deep-rooted patriarchy. It's been there for years before now. And you see, the funny thing about this patriarchy is when we try to challenge a tradition or a status quo that is harmful, and it's actually harmful to men, they join in the struggle. <laughs> yeah, majority of the men join the struggle. Oh, it's okay, it's true. And um, for example, oh, do not marginalize um, a particular community. Do not do this and do not do that. Do not um, oppress the people. Men join in the struggle. And then when you change the conversation to let us not marginalize women, let us give women equal opportunity. And then when you begin to um, talk about shifting the power relations, mm -hmm. you see that the voices begin to diminish um, because this patriarchy favors a particular gender. And the gender who is being favored would not really want to just lose out on all of those opportunities that they are enjoying. So yes, mm -hmm. the patriarchy in the society, again, the poverty level, which is also, a lot of people make the statement, um, poverty is female, mm -hmm. you know? So all of those things are major reasons why many women cannot shatter glass ceilings. They have the potentials, they have the energy, they have the strength, they have the zeal, they have everything that they need except for resources, mm -hmm. which are largely in control of the other gender. Now, thank you very much for that intervention. Um, the theme for this year is each for, for equal. equal. Mm -hmm. And you know, the UN will always say, we don't want to leave anyone behind. Yes. There's been arguments again, that you know, much as we talk about women empowerment, women emancipation mm -hmm. and all of that, there's still the argument that you know sometimes when women get to the top mm. they do not support other women to come to the top how do you respond to that um, I would respond to that by saying um, power is intoxicating um, power is I, I'd like to use the word selfish for lack of better words um, there are some women who have had opportunities and have gone ahead to trailblaze and picked other women up and just made sure that they were not the only women in that space. And yet again, there are other women who have been selfish with such opportunities. When, they, when we say each for equal, it means that we all have a collective responsibility to ensure gender balance, to ensure that women get opportunities that they deserve. Mm -hmm. We are not restricting them or um, putting them to a corner because of their gender. We are telling them, okay, this is the opportunity that you deserve, go ahead and earn it and make a name for yourself. So yes, women, there are some women, especially um, in our country, who have gotten to the top and have felt the need to like remain the only women on top, but that is not the way it should be. What it should be is if you get an opportunity, you make room for a lot more people to come up. And that's the way we're going to have to pull each other up. Mm -hmm. We can't all scramble or get to the top at the same time, but one person there should be a um, step in the right direction, knowing that that one person will work to get another person and another person until we are all um, equal on the scale. Mm -hmm. I like the way you put it there. So would it be right to say women, much as we, we like to throw the blame at the opposite uh, sex, would it be right to say women need to be intentional and deliberate in their efforts to say, yes, we're not going to leave any woman behind? Exactly. Those are the words, actually, intentional and deliberate. We have women who are 
um, what do we call them now? They encourage violence against other women. If you go on social media, you hear a social conversation about how um, a woman was beaten by her husband. It's not going to be shocking to see that other women will say, yes, that's what she deserves. So why, um, why we have to be intentional is if it's okay for one woman in one part of the world, it's okay for other women in all, all over the world. I mean, an injustice to a woman in Africa is an injustice to a woman worldwide. Mm -hmm. So women should be intentional. I mean, it, even little statements, sly statements like, oh, yes, that's what they should do. Or, oh, yes, if you see your brother beating his wife, you are a woman. You shouldn't encourage that, no matter what you think that the woman has done wrong. So those are the deliberate um, uh, efforts that women can put in. If you have a business, if you have a man and a woman coming, I do it sometimes in my business. If I have a man and a woman coming for the same position, and I see that maybe they are either equally um, um, qualified, mm -hmm. I go for the woman. The only reason I would not pick the woman is if I see that she's probably not um, talented or she's probably not going to have the opportunity to learn to get into that position. I am biased mm -hmm. because those are the, biased. yes, we have to be biased in uh, in the in all sense of the word. Because <laughs> oh, in all sense yes, of the word. in all sense of the word, because it is so? it is a huge difference in the power relations, and in order to get into a fairly equal. Um, power relation, power distribution mm -hmm. between male and female gender. You have to make some certain bias um, decisions that would, like you said, deliberate and intentional. Mm -hmm. That would balance the scale. All right. Finally, it's the day to celebrate women, of yes. course, and um, we know that uh, much as we talk about this, there are areas in this country that uh, women we've not seen women coming out strong. You know, we've not seen women represented fully. Let's talk about uh, politics, for instance. You know, other sectors that you would consider as mm -hmm. uh, strongholds, bigger strongholds. Yeah. Uh, and then sometimes when we women come out to talk about and to push this, uh, this seem to be some level of aggression. Mm -hmm. How do we come to the point where we would be able to dialogue, you know, express the need to be in uh, positions like this without necessarily fighting? Um, we have to fight. It's mm. the sad truth, but you have to fight. Um, change is painful, change is difficult, and change has to be forceful. I've never heard anywhere where there was a drastic change and there was no fight. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you hear people talking about feminism. It's supposed to be a peaceful um, way to organize women and men to work towards gender equality. Mm -hmm. But there are some people in some sectors that, or in some corners that has gone to like divert the, or change the meaning of feminism, mm -hmm. make it look like it's evil, it's this terrible thing. Oh, women want to take over the men, or they want to be the head of the house, but that is not what it is. Feminism right. is simply calling for equal opportunities for male and female. Right. That's just what it is. So if you are anywhere and you've ever said, no, you shouldn't treat that woman like that simply because she's a woman, you are a feminist. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we shouldn't fight in the sense of violence, but we should fight in the sense of organizing, organize mm -hmm. women, organize men. There are some men who know that this is the truth, and this is the only way to make our lives better. We cannot develop ourselves as a nation, as a state, as an organization we, by leaving one, like half of the organization um, aside. Mm -hmm. So the way we can go about this is for us in our little spheres of influence to speak up. Like I don't get to hear any statement that is stereotypical and mm -hmm. I just keep calm. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't, even as little as she's a woman, that's why she's driving like that. Mm -hmm. I just tend to say, no, she is a driver. She mm -hmm. probably does not know how to drive. See, because we also have men who don't know how to drive. That's right. So little moves like that. And then into the bigger organizations, organizations, NGOs, um, social groups, church groups, most groups, everybody is, uh, that's why they say it's each for equal, is everybody is a collective responsibility. Women cannot, um, we cannot achieve gender equality mm -hmm. by leaving the men aside too, because as it is, they are like the power holders. If you want to take power from them, you're going to have to negotiate it, negotiate your way through. That is the kind of fight, not the fight of taking guns mm -hmm. and knives and everything. We've had, um, Conversations where some women had some women groups in some villages had strikes. Mm -hmm. They decided, okay, this for this one week, we are going to show them that we have some sort of power, mm -hmm. and then until they are, they bring us to the table, until they give us our seats on the table, we are not going to back down. Mm -hmm. So those kind of little movements, organizations, every woman where you are, wherever you are, wherever sphere of influence that you have, 
just reach out to a woman mm -hmm. and try to help a woman. Thank you so very much, Peggy, thank for you so sharing much. your insights there. And happy Women's Day. Uh, Let's keep you. lifting each other and not leaving anyone behind. Thank you.